Bayonets fixed, drums beating, a company, 100 Vikings parading, applauded, cheered, they came to attention under the watch of those who'd fought before them. In a foreign land, they saw some of the fiercest fighting. At home today, thousands said thank you. While other teams have changed their name, drivers and engines, it's a sea of calm at Red Bull. The team who finished runners-up last season are hoping to continue their evolution by winning the silverware this time. With the banning of refuelling this season, pit stops will be super fast. Red Bull's team are now super fit after a gruelling winter training regime. Expect to see them post times of under two seconds to change all four tyres. Of greater integration. You know, all... Frustrated about being left out for the All Blacks this weekend. <laughs> of two adopted young children, he was around that as the economy grows, uh, because of the action. You know, I, I thought it would be sort of surly teenage boys. <laughs> nerve wracking, <laughs> not because of driving a fast car. I'm... I'm Simon Furnham. I started making knives when I was at school, self-taught, and um, kind of progressed into making swords when I left school. So the King of Jordan is a customer. Simon's ambition is to do ever more sophisticated work. Some swords can fetch around 30 or 40 thousand pounds. Simon just needs to find customers willing to pay that sort of money. Mike Liggins, BBC Look East, Essex. A sharp whistle and Misty the sheepdog obeys. But in a sport dominated by middle-aged men, Misty's not listening to him, she's listening to her. So I just kind of take it in my stride and try and win as many trials as I can and come in the place in somewhere and then it's probably the Nationals but I don't really think about that at the moment. Stand still. So it's one competition at a time for one girl and her dog. Mike Cartwright, BBC Look East, Cambridgeshire. A race to see which of our sides will play in the Football League next season. Luton have cut Stevenage's lead at the top of the Blue Square Premier to two points. They followed up Saturday's win at Stevenage with a thumping 6-0 victory over Greys. Then it was christened in Formula One style, courtesy of David Coulthard. You know, it's not a street circuit like Monte Carlo with lots of tight twists and turns. This is a real high-speed track. But years of dedicated training as a semi-pro skier have seen some improvements. Get set. Go. <laughs> OK, pretty wide. Clive Lewis, BBC Look East, Norton Keynes.